Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you an updated version on how to make a simple main menu in Roblox Studio. First off, load an empty base plate and let's get started. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to insert our screen GUI to start GUI. We'll name the screen GUI menu. And then what we need to do is just go into properties, go to ignore GUI and set, set that to true. Go to reset on spawn, set that to false. Then what we do is click on the plus again inside the screen GUI, insert a frame, then scroll down in properties, go to size, x and y, offset, 0, 0, then 1, 1 on scale. Then it should cover the entire screen. Then what we're going to do is we're going to set background transparency to 1 and it'll disappear. Then name this frame right here, mainframe. We can by do double clicking on it. Then what we need to do is just duplicate. You can do that by pressing Control D or Command D. And then set background transparency to zero. And then we'll drag it to just around somewhere here. This is going to be the container for our little title. And then duplicate again. Control D, Command D. And scale this one down just around, around this much. Then name this one, the smaller one, two buttons. And then the bigger one, which is the rectangle one, name that title. Then click on the plus inside of buttons. And insert a frame. Then just scale this up. Remember, offset, zero, zero, scale, one, one. Then scale this up a little bit. And then duplicate it. Drag it down. Duplicate again. And drag it to the bottom. Then, if you select buttons and set background transition to one. Then it should look like this, but it's just a white box. So let's change it up a little bit. So the top frame will be our play button. So we'll set this to play. Middle one can be our credits or settings. We'll do settings. And the last one can be our credits. Then what we'll do is we'll click on the plus again and search UI corner. Then once we click on the UI corner, go to corner radius. Offset set to zero. So scale to around 0 0.2. Then copy and paste it into the other ones using Command Command C or Control C, and then paste it in by selecting the frame and doing Control Shift V or Command I Shift V, I think. Then you can insert. Then what we can do is click on Title, background transparency to one. Click on the plus and insert a text label. Then scale it up using the same thing we did with the frames. Background transparency to 1. Scroll down. And go to text scaled. Click the box and say to true. Font face. You can choose from one of the fonts. So I'm going to pick Gotham. And then what you can do is you can change the weight. It probably doesn't look like this to you since I'm using a beta feature. Then you can set the text color free to white. Any color really. So change it to whatever color you want. Then it should look like this. Then you can change the text to whatever you want. So I'm going to put in just base plate. Then what we're going to do is we're going to select all the three buttons. We're holding control with command for Mac. And background color free. Set this to 40, 40, 40. Then it looks something like this. It looks a bit nicer than the white. So what we're going to do is we click on the plus again. Insert a text label. And then scale it up again. And background is to to one. Now you can just edit, edit the text. And then it looks something like this. So text color free is white, text is play, and then my font face is Gotham. So this looks a bit ugly. We don't want to do this. So what we can do is if you just scale this down a little bit and then center it in the middle, you can close the corners in a little bit. Then it looks something like this. It looks a bit better now. And then what we need to do is we just need to duplicate these texts into the other ones. Go to settings, change the text to the settings. And then it looks a bit something like this and it's already looking pretty good. So next one we're gonna do is we're just gonna customize our pop-ups. So what we need to do is just close out all this, then click on the buttons frame, and then just control D or command D duplicate. And
I'm just going to be adding a little button to target the shadows. You can probably find a better tutorial on a settings UI. And I've linked one down in the description, which is mine. So you can go check that out. And then you can use that GUI onto here. So, insert a text label, scale it up. Background, trans background transparency. Change the text color. Change the font. Then we set the text scale to true. Now what we can do is just scale this down to around around here. Then we center this instead of doing like this. So once we've done this, we'll do set this to on, and then we'll set this text to shadows. And then what we'll do is we'll insert a text one inside, scale it up. Crunch transparency to one, and inside the text, just delete it and then press enter. Then it looks something like this. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a quick script. So, what we'll do is insert a local script inside the text bar and we'll type this out script. Well, and make sure. The on text, make sure you just name this on off. So then it should look something along the lines of this. So what we're gonna do now is credits pop up. So go to settings pop up and then set the Y position to one. And then I click on pop ups, scroll down, go to clips descendants and set that to true. Then it should look like this. So I'll duplicate the settings pop up and then we'll name this credits pop up. Then the Y position, set this to zero again. Change the text here to um, credits. And now what we can do is we can just scale this up and we'll center it. Move the text button, move on off, and then with the text around here so this can be the username so i'm gonna put my username and then the work i've done on the game which is this now there's our little credits so if you want to add another player what we can do is so we'll duplicate this i'll name this my username and so you don't want it just being shadow so duplicate that Move it down a little bit, and then just edit the text. That simple. Now what we'll do is, what we can do is just set this to visible to false. And then let's get to scripting our buttons. So, what we'll do is, you can copy this button from the shadows, and put it inside of all the buttons. And just remove the local script. Then what we'll do is we'll click on the plus inside the play frame. We'll do local script. Then name this local script animations. Then just follow along. here is our animation script so what it does is it'll change the background color to something a bit brighter than this gray when the mouse hovers over it and when the mouse leaves the button slide just comes out then it'll go back to the gray but if you're using a different color other than the gray so what you want to do is instead of typing like this since as you can see like here it's a bit gray so you're gonna have to change the color on here so like imagine like your buttons kind of like blue have to change this to this and then for this part just save to the default color so this one right here is the default color and this is the bright color so you need to make a bright version of this color 
and then this one is going to be the default color so right version of the default color and then default color but if you're if yours is just completely white then i'd recommend just making a bit more gray like that but i'm using the gray ones so yeah keep that in mind so i'm just duplicate these into the other buttons and then let's get the screen to pop-ups so what we're going to do is we're going to insert a local script inside settings and just follow along with this so once you've insert a script just follow along So now what we need to do is once you got to around here, what we need to do is we need to grab the position of these buttons right here. So just call on the properties and go to position. And then what we'll do is we'll paste it inside of this one right here, the settings, no, the, the buttons position. Paste that into here. Move these little things right here. And then go to Y. So this is X, offset, Y offset so x offset y offset so we need to go to y which is this one so what we'll do is we'll set this to one and then we'll go to title copy the position of title and then move those things again go to y say it's a one then it sort of looks something like this so if you really want to you can go ahead and give it a little playtest now and see if it works so inside the game we have our button animation, so that seems to be working. If we click on settings, we'll tween down and the pop-up will come up and our shadows seems to be working. So then it should look something along the lines of this. So what we're going to do now is... And there we go, so... There is one little problem I saw, which was the title went down, so instead of 1, so that's a minus 1. And then what we'll do is, when we click on settings, it'll tween up instead of down, which is not what I want. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to copy this local script, and then paste it inside of the credits local script. Sorry, text button. So what I'm gonna do is, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna copy. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna copy the settings local script and paste it into the credits text one. Click on it, and then what we'll do is, instead of this right here, says settings pop up, change this to what we named the credits, which was credits pop up. If you named it differently, then make sure you change that. And there we go. So we got our simple. Well, pop-ups tweening thing what do you want to call it now once we tween into the um settings or the credits we can't really exit out of it so that's what we're going to do now so go to settings pop-up position y zero then we can edit this so i'm going to copy the play button since it has no scripts in it paste it inside of here and just scale it down into the upper corner right here So here's a good position, so scale this a little bit and change the text to back. And then what we'll do is we'll copy the script from the settings and then just paste it inside here. Then what we'll do is we're just going to make these quick edits, so just follow along. Now what we'll do is, once it looks like this, go over here, and then we need to get the current position, so the buttons, 
the current Y position is this, so copy the Y position, go back to the log script, and then this is the buttons, so inside of the buttons, change the Y position to this, and the same goes for title, Y 0.147 for me, so change that to 0.147, then this part right here, instead of here, we'll change this to 1, then what we'll do is just copy this, delete it, paste it right here, copy these, delete, and we'll do a little bit of a switch, so it just switches everything back over. So, yeah, basically we're just gonna reverse everything, so just reverse the scripts on how, how, how it works. So now let's go ahead and move the settings pop up to back to its original position, so Y1. So we'll name the, well it's named place, so we'll change this to back. Duplicate it and put it inside the credits pop up. I just realized we made the we made the credits pop up um, visible false, so we actually don't set the, the visible to false, just set the Y to one. Then go back into the back script inside of credits, and instead of settings pop up, change this to credits pop up. And then let's go ahead and play test and see if it works. So we're in the game, settings, credits, play. Let's test out settings, tweens away, tweens in, back button, works. Go to settings, back button works, credits, works. So, that's pretty good, everything seems to be working. Now we need to do the play button and we're gonna script our camera. So, let's script the play button first. So let's go to our camera first. What we're gonna do is, so this is the part on the last tutorial, everybody got really confused on this part. So I'm gonna make a bit of a more simple version of how you do this. Since I pretty much, I just sped it, I just sped the entire video up and that was it. So here's what we need to do. Go to view in the top, go to command bar and in the bottom, you should see a little bar that says run a command. If you don't see this, skip this entire process and all you need to do is just insert a part. That's it, just insert the part instead. So, if you want to do it the command way, so just position your camera somewhere, so where you want the camera to be. So I want the camera to be positioning right here. And then what we do is we're going to type this out, so we'll do local part equals instant dot new part 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 dot parent equals workspace art dot c frame equals game dot workspace dot current camera dot c frame then we then we'll do art dot name equals when you can so I'll zoom in real quick so you can see it. I left this in the pinned comment, so you so yeah. Then to execute it, what you need to do is click on the line and press enter. So click on the line, press enter. And then if you zoom out a little bit, this little part just saw. This is our camera part, so what scroll down, make sure you anchor the part. Now you can just remove this. And now insert a local script into the screen GUI. And then it looks should look a, a little something like this. So I'll zoom in a little more so you can type this out. And then we can go ahead and play test the game. So make sure you make the part transparent now. And let's go ahead and play test. So this seems to be working. The camera's working. As you can see, the camera's attached to my character. But you need to keep something in mind. You cannot use anything like any scripts that messes around the camera. So like if this doesn't work, then something is probably messing around with your camera or something isn't working. But here's a little tip. If you use something called the Events Combat System or ACS for short, then 
my menu GY isn't gonna work for you. It's like I have no methods of making ACS work with my main menus. So yeah, if you use ACS, then <laughs> good luck making a main menu <laughs> since I have no idea how to make one with advanced combat system. So yeah, things seem to be working. All this credits, this is working. There we go. So let's go ahead and skip to our play button. So what we're gonna do is uh, we can just minimize all of this, then duplicate the mainframe, remove everything inside of it, name this mainframe transition, set the background transparency to zero, set the border size pixel to zero, set background color free to let's do 30, 30, 30. And then what we'll do is we'll set the anchor point to 0 0.5. 0.5 then what we'll do is put this in the middle so what we'll do is y make sure that's 0.5 and then the x set that to minus 0.5 or sorry uh, let's do one or 1.5 and it looks like this so what we need to do is now and then insert a local script into our play button and just type this Then what we can do is we can just copy this right here, so copy this and we'll paste it inside the script. Then we should have something like this. Then if you have this, then we're good to go. And let's go ahead and play test. And there we go. So we have settings, credits, or the credits. We have the settings. Shadows off and on. We have the play button. There goes nothing. And there we go. Two star character. And the menu is now gone. But this isn't the end of the video. We need to patch some things. So, here's the thing that loads of people get confused in my videos. Like, you comment down in the comment section, and I respond, like, you need some help. You comment in the comment section. I just reply with, can I see your output? Or just output. Like, what do I mean by that? So, what we need to do is, click on view, and go to output, which is right here. And then all I need to do is, I just need to see your output. But I can't really give you be the best response in the YouTube comment section, so... Really, the best thing you can do is this. Which is right here. My Discord server is in the description. All you need to do is just join, go to verify, and then verify your blocks link. Scroll down, go to help, click on new post, then title, we'll name this I have an error, then please help, and then provide me some screenshots. And then once you're done, just click post. And then just wait for me to go, because I scroll down the help section all the time. So just wait for me to respond, and then we'll see if I can help. So yeah, that's how I can get you, give you help. I can't help you in the YouTube comment session. Can you stop asking me questions in the YouTube comments? Says, Please just join my Discord. I can help you there. So yeah, there we go. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.